this is Blue Leader and we're here in Merced, California where they have a total of 12 superchargers. Here are my initial impressions of the Merced, California supercharger. Initial thoughts. You are at a road trip pit stop, uh, but this will probably be your main stay here in Merced. You're next to a Smart and Final. Uh, a lot of fast food, so if you need to stop here, you can just chill out. And it seems to be a peaceful area with fairly friendly people. The initial feelings. I have a feeling of relief because I am almost done with my road trip and I'm gonna go get some Subway. You know, I used to work at Subway. That was my first job, so I'm gonna go over there and grab a foot long. Initial concerns, I'm not very concerned. It's the, it's dusk, the sun's going down, and lights are starting to pop up, so it seems like this is a very safe area. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Please continue to show that support. There's a like button over here and a subscribe button. Make sure that if you know anyone who wants to hang out with us, that you share the content over with them. Anyways, thank you so much, and hang tight for the review. I love it because uh, for the past uh, 10 years I've been driving back and forth to pick up my kids on uh, Trulock and it works great for me. I can stop right here, relax, refresh my mind and then just keep going. The other good things is that we have pot pies right here so we can eat some good fried chicken right there. I love pot pies. If there was no supercharger would you still come back to this parking lot? Uh, maybe to build up memories, yes, I do. Should Tesla install superchargers in low-income neighborhoods? Yeah, for sure, yeah. So one time, I just got stuck right there with no miles and I had to call the tow truck. The tow of shame, the Tesla tow of shame. <laughs> yeah. Now, should other EVs be allowed to use Tesla's chargers? Maybe, yes, but it, will, it was going to be so crowded. There's not too many people here now though. Yeah. Just me and you. Okay. Do you charge at home, Ignacio? Yeah, I do. Uh, do you have any charging advice for us? Just try to keep up with the 80%. If you're not going to be doing long trips, that way you can uh, keep up with your battery and make it last. Why do you supercharge? I do supercharge because I just it's more faster and it's more convenient for me. I'm wondering, what is the number one thing Tesla should change? It can be a little bit more faster. Maybe like five minutes, it'll be great. A charger in five minutes, that would be excellent. Sure, yeah. Do you have any final words of wisdom for the people out there? Keep safe and uh, all the Tesla owners, keep up the good work and, you know, uh, you know just we, we are saving the environment. That's all I can say. Thank you so much for your time. We'll see you later, okay? Thank you. Ignacio, what makes you laugh? When my wife tells me, let's go to the store because I know I'm going to spend money. <laughs> that wife right there, right? <laughs> yeah.